So today we're going to be talking about the oxygenale three in one superfacial. Uh, just to give you a little bit of the background, um, the oxygen ale was manufactured in Israel and it is a creation from some really brilliant physicists in, uh, that work for Polygen and Polygen is owned by Luminous, just so you have an idea who the manufacturer is. Uh, Luminous is one of the biggest uh, laser manufacturers in the world. And um, one of the physicists that used to actually, he was the founder of Polygen. Uh, his name is Dr. Zina Zar. He was looking at some marketing on oxygen facials. And this was probably like eight, nine, 10 years ago. And he was, you know, he's a scientist. So he was looking at the oxygen facials and he said, well, it's impossible to actually oxygenate tissue using oxygen. He goes, that's nonsense. He goes, we, and he, he said, I'm going to invent um, an oxygen facial. And so uh, he, he's known, he's done lots of radio frequency and laser and phototherapy, all kinds of uh, different uh, patents. But uh, this was his first facial and his first facial device. Um, so the, as a scientist, he understood that the only way to oxygenate tissue is by using carbon dioxide because our body's always balancing itself. If you're blowing oxygen on the face, um, it's going to be the opposite where you, where the oxygen, where you need it is in the dermal layer and your body will stop dropping oxygen in that area. If you put oxygen on the skin. So he wanted to come up with something that actually oxygenated tissue. And so he contacted some of his buddies, uh, some of the top profs at the Hebrew university and the combination of polygen and some other very brilliant guys that came out with the oxygen ale and it's evolved ever since it's sort of like derma roller and they've evolved ever since so uh, at the beginning he just wanted something simple to oxygenate the skin and then when they brought it to Canada it was like a wow facial and everybody uh, especially in the uh, hands of uh, medical estheticians they understood the popularity of exfoliation that it does the oxygenation and the infusion a lot of the uh, products are really critical for anti-aging programs so this is a technology that's evolved that now has skin tightening on it ultrasound on it it does exfoliation oxygenation and infusion everything that the skin needs to prep and uh, maintain um, beautiful skin so the oxygen ale is the uh, world's leading uh, facial technology and it's the most paid popular facial treatment in Canada. It is inspired by the long knowing therapeutic effect of the hot springs. Oxygen ale was designed to enrich the skin with oxygen from within the body while ex gently exfoliating dead skin and infusing active ingredients to maximize the effect. The oxygen ale harnesses biologic process of the body to deliver oxygen in the area of treatment in a natural manner, as opposed to other technologies which blow oxygen on the skin with very little efficacy. Uh, the oxygen ale is backed by real science to allow practitioners to get the most outstanding results in a comfortable, refreshing, highly active three-in-one superfacial. It's actually like five-in-one now with ultrasound and radio frequency. And it is super comfortable. And it has, I believe, two peer reviews. They had their first peer review doctor, done by Dr. Moy. He was past president of the American Dermatology Association. They did that about four or five years ago in the fall. And I believe they have one since then. Uh, it is a peer reviewed uh, for FSC. And I don't believe any of the other treatments out there have that. Uh, very little is actually uh, promoted for peer reviews when it comes just to a facial application like this. And uh, in the study, uh, they found that the oxygenation of the tissue was real and uh, it's up by 15 to 20 percent, even 15 to 20 minutes post treatment. So it's uh, it has a real positive effect to the tissue and uh, for cell um, uh, metabolism. So the uh, this is the oxygen overview system. You have your ultrasound applicator, your uh, exfoliation, the oxygen applicator, your base, and your tripolar with skin tightening. This is all the the hand pieces that you get with the full base system. Um, the oxygen ale is uh, use exfoliates dead cells and oxygenates by the Bohr effect uh, and infuses uh, therapeutic active ingredient. And the tripolar is a third generation radio frequency. It's safe and pleasant, um, effective RF technology for wrinkle reduction and skin tightening. The ultrasound uh, increases waves, um, increases the permeability of the skin to optimize infusion of, uh, 
nutrients and active ingredients in deeper layer. Uh, ultrasound also breaks down the product itself into smaller molecular bits to, for easier absorption. So what is the Bohr effect? The Bohr effect is based upon the body's response to the levels of CO2. When the body senses the levels of CO2 in certain issue, example, when you were working out, it immediately re reacts to restore the balance. And the response is divided into three steps. Uh, more oxygen-rich blood flows to the area um, of the high uh, CO2 levels. O2 be much more easily released from red blood cells in the area of CO2. And red blood cells uh, removes oxygen. Uh, from through the respiratory system. So basically, when we're exercising, we're burning fat, we're burning fuel, our body um, starts to burn off fat, we produce CO2, right? And our muscles get hot and sweaty and blood um, and full of blood. And the reason why it's full of blood is because as we're doing the CO2, our heart starts pumping and our, we start breathing hard because we need a lot of oxygen to offset the CO2. So our hemoglobin carries the oxygen to our muscles and, and takes away the CO2 and brings it back to our lungs and we exhale. And the more we burn, the more CO2 we produce, the more we almost start panting, right? If we're doing like hard cardio, we're really breathing hard because we really need a lot of oxygen to offset that CO2. We're creating that false sense of CO2 in our tissue. So instead of responding, uh, uh, as soon as our body uh, re realizes there's lots of CO2 on top of our skin, our hemoglobin will rush oxygenated blood up to the surface of the tissue and receive the CO2 and bring it back to our lungs or we just exhale it. So there's a, 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 a gas exchange that takes place. So instead of relying on most other facials that just use suction to get blood up to the surface, and it'll have oxygen in that blood that you're bringing up to the surface, but not to the same content because the CO2 levels aren't there. So all of that... Um, red blood uh, moves, removes excessive CO2 and goes back through the respiratory system. We're doing that in the skin. In other words, temporary increasing CO2 levels leads to natural tissue, tissue oxygenation from within the body. And this physiological response was described in 1904 by Danish uh, physiologist called Dr. Christian Bohr, and it's known as the Bohr effect. So very known statistics on the Bohr effect, and that's how you oxygenate skin. You cannot oxygen by blowing oxygen on. All those oxygen pods and everything else, they're great to inhale. They do very little for the face, uh, to be honest with you, uh, superficially to the face. Um, so what happens is we have these pods, and it can either be the oxypod or the capsigen, depending on what classification of treatment you're doing. And those uh, start to interact with the gel that's applied to the skin. There's a gel that's applied to uh, clean skin. Uh, that cap is put on the head, it's the head starts to vibrate with the machine and it creates uh, in the interaction between the exfoliation pad and the product creates carbon dioxide and the body senses carbon dioxide and, and draws blood up to the surface, which is fabulous, especially if, if you don't want that manual suction to uh, dilate capillaries that can be damaging to uh, thinner skin. And meanwhile, uh, as that puck breaks, uh, breaks down and creates uh, carbon dioxide, it also becomes rough and acts like a buffing pad. So it starts exfoliating back and forth, getting rid of all that dead skin, polishing the tissue. And of course, our gels have active in it, which um, blood is the transportation system of the cells. As that oxygenated blood comes up to the surface, so all those products and actives are there to be received into the blood and it's, it's it, the absorption rate is through the roof, especially because we're just removing all the stratum corneum or a lot of the stratum corneum. So the absorption rate is going through. So there's a lot of dynamic things happening during the treatment. So exfoliation, the vibrating capsule or capsigen or oxypod reacts with the gel, it exfoliates the outer cells, uh, opens clogged pores, smooths the skin surface, generates abundance of CO2 bubbles, it permeates the upper layer of the skin to re uh, trigger the physiological responses for effect. The oxygenate harnesses, it draws all that oxygenated uh, blood up to the surface and you're just infusing nutrients, vitamins and other active ingredients to protect and correct skin in order to keep it healthy and glowing for long term. Um, the classic treatments, these are less expensive treatments. These are the ones we first came out with. Um, they have Neo Revive and Neo Bright, and they're done a little bit different than ours. And now they have um, four treatments, actually. The new, um, the new uh, Oxy Revive isn't, I mean, Oxy Hydrate isn't here, but I'm going to be showing you that on another PowerPoint presentation. Um, we have now the Ox, uh, Oxy Balance. 
um, which is the ultimate cleansing, the Ox Oxy Illuminate, which is for skin brightening and even out skin tone, and the Oxy Revive, which is the ultimate uh, skin rejuvenation. So we have six treatments, and then we have the Oxy Hydrate that isn't listed. So six treatments um, are available for this particular device. So the, these are the classic treatments, and they came in one big envelope. And uh, we normally uh, did the treatment. The capsigen in this case doesn't have all the actives in it. It has um, uh, sodium bicarbonate, citric acid, and magnesium. Magnesium, as it dissolves and it gets absorbed in the skin, it helps the skin to retain water. Uh, citric acid is vitamin C. And of course, the carbon, uh, sodium bicarbonate creates the carbon dioxide. And then you have uh, the serums, which I'm going to go into. They normally put about one uh, two thirds of the product on the skin and then do the exfoliation with the capsigen. And then after you cleanse the skin off, they would put the other third of that envelope on and then in, um, just um, let it absorb with the massage tip or the ultrasound tip or whatever, however you want to do the treatment. So it then they evolved into the oxypods, which I'm going to get into in a little while, whereas more of the uh, actives are actually in the pod itself. So the Neo Revive tightens and firms the skin, hydrates and nourishes uh, revitalizes cell, cell skin, reduces fine lines and wrinkles. The Neo Bright is even skin tone, light and pigmentation, protects sun damage, reduces fine lines and wrinkles. One capsigen is made of citric acid, sodium bicarbonate, magnesium, which I already said, and the a one pack uh, does both the exfoliation and the massage. So very simple treatments. These are $18 per treatment. Uh, they're even a little less. If you're buying a box of seven, you get the eight free. So it's a little bit less than that. Those are the, the classic treatments uh, that some people still sell and they charge a little bit less for because the product's a little bit less expensive. Uh, because they're in a full pack, uh, sometimes if people are doing body, uh, they might like the Neo Bright for doing shoulders and back and things like this because you can put the entire pack on the whole back and or most of the back anyway, and do a nice exfoliation for body on it, which is really, really nice. So uh, sometimes they use that for body treatments. So the Revive um, main active ingredients is rebose, which is a sugar that acts as a cell fuel for energy production. High level of rebose in the skin encourages uh, cells to increase their metab metabolic activity and fibroblasts use rebose for production of new collagen fiber. And uh, that's a sugar I, um, that is, um, it's very, very important for all kinds of stuff, like for cellular activity. And the uh, pomegranate extract has long been touted for its level of vitamin C and antioxidants, which help prevent cell damage. Several studies have shown it to be its ability to speed wound healing and repair of da sun damage. Pomegranate seed extracts exert, exert their positive effects by extending the level of fibroblasts, extending the life of fibroblasts. And this is super important, especially when it's aging skin, because just like I was talking about in microneedling, where fibroblasts eventually convert to fibrocytes and stop producing, if they were doing something with the uh, pomegranate extract, it would length, uh, increase the life of those fibroblasts. Very, very important part, part of anti aging. Um, the Rosa Canina crude oil is high in vitamin C. It contains uh, high levels of antioxidants and essential fatty acids. It absorbs quickly in the skin and creates a protective barrier, which is very important too because we're just exfoliating off that top uh, barrier and it prevents skin hydration. Uh, the sorbitol polymetate is a uh, non-acid form of vitamin C and it's highly effective antioxidant, a uh, very gentle uh, form of vitamin C. The hyaluronic acid is an ex uh, excellent antioxidant and space filler that pumps the lines and wrinkles. Adequate uh, have levels of hyaluronic acid are crucial for uh, normal of, uh, normalization of cell activity and healing of uh, damaged skin. And retinol is known for for uh, cellular turnover and stimulating formulation of new co uh, collagen in the epidermis, uh, particularly in the papillary layer, which is the one area that has uh, most is most damaged, or it, you, it's more damaged from UV than any other area for, than the reticular area. It reduces melanocytes and promotes uh, healthy skin renewal. Uh, magnesium absorbital phosphate is a, oh, this is the next one, the Neobright. So that was all the actives for the Revive. So it's a very strong anti-aging uh, treatment. The Neobright, uh, very great for hyperpigmentation, uh, good for anybody Fitzpatrick three and more. 
uh, very good for body treatments, like I said, uh, because it has a little bit of higher acid profile to it. So it has magnesium exorbital pro uh, uh, phosphate, which is very stable and non-irritating form of vitamin C. Uh, MAP is established effective antioxidant, which boosts collagen synthesis and inhibits melanin formation. Kojic acid inhibits and prevents the formation of tyrosine. Uh, an amino acid that is needed to produce melanin because it inhibits the production of melanin kojic acid. It has a lightening effect. Azelic acid is a natural antibacterial, which makes it a great treatment for acne. When applied topically, it reduces the growth of bacteria in the follicles, helps reduce inflammation, removes dead thin cells, and prevents future acne breakouts. Azelic acid also when inhibits excessive melanin production, which makes it an effective brightening agent. Uh, first pearl acetate is a form of vitamin E, a natural conditioning agent and great antioxidant. Retinol is known as a retinol A1, is a, uh, encourages normal cellular turnover, stimulates the formation of new collagen in the upper dermis, reduces melanocyte activity and promotes healthy skin renewal. Hyaluronic acid is the best hydrating acid for our skin an excellent antioxidant space filler that plumps the fine lines and wrinkles. Adequate level of hyaluronic acid are crucial for non-cell activity and healing of damaged skin. So those are our classic treatments. You can do the treatments spaced at least two weeks apart. A lot of times people are just coming in monthly to have a sort of a nice maintenance agreement with it. Um, a lot of times I'm using these kind of treatments for preparatory treatment. If they're going to IPL or if they're going into microneedling, they might have one or two to really uh, exfoliate the skin and detox the skin, oxygenate the skin and really prep it for a, a more aggressive treatment. So these go really hand in hand with microneedling that we just uh, read about. Um, if they had microneedling, you would probably a series of microneedling, you'd probably do oxygenail, oxygenail, then microneedling the following week. And then you wouldn't do another oxygenail for about three weeks. And then three weeks after your uh, microneedling, so you'd space it out like that. Perfect for free phototherapy treatments. So if you're doing IPL, you might do a couple of treatments beforehand to prep the skin and your phototherapy is just going to be that much more effective. Uh, to do the treatments, you cleanse the skin, you break the, you, you put the product probably uh, two thirds on for the exfoliation. I do one third on for uh, the infusion. So you apply it on. I don't use a brush for anything. I like just the wooden spatulas because I like everything disposable. So I spatula it on the skin. I start my exfoliation pocket vibrates. I'm going over the whole face very nicely. Uh, no pressure on the skin whatsoever, usually in nice uplifting motions. Um, if I have an area, I don't like doing circular areas too much. I just do them for the first maybe minute just to really mix the product. And then I'm doing nice, slow, methodical treatments. And you'll see me doing them on the YouTube that I've made. So you can watch me do a facial on that. And I'm not going to go too much into this because you're going to see it on the, on the YouTube. So these are the treatments and I'm going to have another PowerPoint for the hydrate and we'll go through those. These are the premium treatments. So the premium treatments were a fairly recent development. They were done about a year and a half ago. And what we did is because people are looking for more holistic methods of treatment. Uh, they want less preservatives. They want more actives. They, they're just, uh, people, the clients are getting a little bit more savvy with uh, ingredients. So we, what we did, which was brilliant, uh, what Polygen did is they put most of their actives in the actual Oxypod itself. So now instead of having one envelope and you share it in, you, you just uh, split it, uh, we have two different envelopes. One is the primer gel that you're going to do the exfoliation with, and you use this for the oxygenal um, facial portion. Then after you clean it off, I usually do a nice steam towel and get uh, to wipe off all the debris, which is going to have all your dead cells and you know all your impurities are, will be wiped away with the product. And then on the clean skin, I put on the matching serum. And with that, I'm going to do the ultrasound and then the infusion with massage. So it's done quite different than the previous uh, generation of treatments. So with each Oxypod is made with powerful active ingredients, which are kept in their solid or dormant state. The primer gel activates the Oxy Oxypod ingredients. And so you're basically mixing product right on the skin is what you're doing. And it increases the skin, uh, enriches the skin with soothing hydration and it creates more effects. So you're going to get that oxygenation. And then 
each uh, serum contains a unique complex of active ingredients and boosts the efficacy of the oxypod. So they're made to work together. So um, the oxypod is quite different technology. Each oxypod is packed with a robust mixture of active ingredients in their solid state. The dormant ingredients are activated only upon the contact with a primer gel, which means maximum stability, maximum freshness, no longer, uh, stronger and longer activity and no preservatives. So when we're putting something that's oxygen volatile in our products like ferulic acid, for instance, or any vitamin C, um, normally those are oxygenated when it's in a gel and they dissipate, the, uh, the efficacy of it dissipates quite quickly. When it's in a solid form, we're mixing it up right on the skin. So it's at its most effective height right when it's being mixed. And it's not in an oxygenated environment, it's in a CO2 environment. So it doesn't dissipate. So you have the freshest product ever because there's no preservatives in this and you're mixing it right on the face. It's just amazing. And in addition, all the oxypods are dye-free, paraben-free, fragrance-free, vegan, and not tested on animals. The colors that you see in those pods are actually the natural colors from the ingredients. So the pink is from that red algae, which is really, really curative. The gray is actually from bamboo charcoal. And the sort of tanny color is the color of the vitamin C's and the vitamins in the, in the oxyilluminate. And then our blue spirulina, which we don't have here, I'm going to show later, is actually blue from the blue spirulina. So you can actually not just know that the active ingredients are in there. Those aren't dyes, they are the active ingredients. So they're pretty amazing. So the oxygenal balance balances and mattifies oily skin, purifies clogged pores, clears toxins and bacteria, and it's ideal for oily and acne prone skin. The active ingredients are in the pot itself, active bamboo charcoal, which absorbs dirt, dead cells, sebum, bacteria, and toxins. Camu camu, which is a berry, which is, has the highest, uh, one of the highest forms of vitamin C in nature. And mandelic acid, which is an alpha hydroxy acid, which when it's mixed, it starts to loosen all that dead epithelial. And of course, instead of relying on vacuum to absorb all the toxins, your activated charcoal, which has been used for decades to uh, from, ev from everywhere, from detoxing water to um, you know, poison control and people going in for emergency for ODs and stuff. So um, bamboo charcoal is a clinically proven, uh, very effective method of absorbing toxins. So instead of using suction on the skin, which can damage capillaries, etc., we use a uh, charcoal, which just absorbs everything very, very gently and very effectively. So we do the exfoliation with those active ingredients, then we clean off the skin, and then we add the balancing serum, which is uh, has in it argana jojoba, which uh, reduces sebum production and how it does it. It sort of replaces, it's a natural, it's naturally anti-inflammatory, but it replaces our natural sebum and it's non-comedogenic. So um, our body doesn't over respond. Uh, normally when we're doing an exfoliation and we strip that barrier down, our body says, oh, it's like the Sahara Desert and starts our sebaceous glands just start over producing sebum and we get that kickback effect. When you replace it right away, your body's just uh, balanced. And that's the nature of this treatment. It's balanced and um, you're, you don't have an override with of sebum production. Shea butter is an emollient. It helps keep your skin hydrated. And it's also a natural UV protection. Horse daniel and vanilla are anti-inflammatories, antibacterial, a wonderful ingredient. All of our serums have those in it, um, which is very important for calming the skin and replacing that lipid barrier right away. And then the actives in the balance of serum is the azelic acid. Again, it softens pigmentations. It's very strong antibacterial. It reduces pimple inflammation, and it's also a great uh, light. Um, it's a really great for offsetting UV as well. Actually, there's a very there's some really nice clinical studies on uh, how it reverses UV damage. It also has botanical peptides, the Ogula peptide 10 complex. Uh, is designed and to attack and kill Piacne bacteria. And that works very synergistically with the salicylic acid, which is a very strong exfoliator and pore cleanser. So the salicylic acid sort of allows the botanical peptide to get deep into the tissue and, and annihilate the Piacne bacteria. So here you're getting hydration, you're getting protection, you're getting lightning for post-traumatic hyperpigmentation, you're getting antibacterial, 
and you're getting exfoliation. So beautiful, uh, beautiful treatment for any impure skin. But I even like it if I'm just starting a round of microneedling, for instance, and I, and I just really wanted to detox some in the space before starting into something a little bit more aggressive. I still, even if breakouts or no breakouts, I still might choose the balance because it's such a great uh, method of really cleaning out deep into the pores. The Oxy Illuminate is our next treatment and it unifies and brightens skin tone, reduces pigmentation, protects from photo damage, and it's ideal for uneven and dull complexion. So in its active ingredients, we have vitamin C, which inhibits melanin formation and promotes collagen synthesis. We have kojic acid, which is a very powerful melanin inhibitor. I think cold, kojic acid is sort of like a golden uh, global gold standard for hyperpigmentation treatments. It has alpha brutin, which is a natural and safe alternative to hydroquinone. And it has carrot seed extract, which brightens skin tone and antioxidant and uh, prickly pear extract, which is, has, uh, reduces inf irritation and inflammation. Also high in vitamin E, also a nice amount of vitamin K in prickly pear. So anybody with uh, discolorations underneath the eyes, et cetera, prickly pear extract, it's kind of understated when it just has the little bit of uh, uh, comments there, but it really has a lot of trace minerals in it. Um, there's just a lot of uh, wonderful ad, uh, ingredients in the, or chemical compo compositions in the prickly pear extract. Uh, the illuminating serum that goes with it, again, you'll see the argan ahoba and the shea butter and the horsetail and vanilla, which I've already explained. They're all replacing that lipid barrier and they are fortifying the skin, hydrating the skin, protecting the skin, and it's anti-inflammatory and it is bacterial. The D-acetylboldine inhibits melanin for, uh, formation and the uh, D-sonyl uh, phenylalanine prevents hormonal stimulation of melanin. And then the tr caprylic uh, triglycerides carries the active ingredients beyond the skin surface deeper into the tissue. So the, these types of inhibitors, one is very good for, they, they actually attack the, um, hyperpigmentation at different levels. So sepi whites is uh, the nickname for these. They're very great. They're really great for hormonal discoloration. So you have something here that's really good for sun damage. Um, and it's really complementary to the kojic acid and alpha brutin. So this is a wonderful treatment, not just for your typical sun damage, but anybody if, that has any kind of hormonal um, discoloration. They just had a baby not too long ago and they had some discoloration on their skin. This is going to really help sort of balance that. Um, it's really nice treatment again to augment IPL treatments with. If you're doing some kind of coagulatory treatment with phototherapy, I probably start with an Illuminate so you won't have so much kickback through the treatment itself. And I might alter them like photo, uh, phototherapy two weeks later, um, Oxy Illuminate two weeks later, phototherapy two weeks later, uh, Oxy Illuminate. So I would stagger them like that. Then we have the Revive. The Revive is, has, is made with red algae. It deeply hydrates the skin, replenishes antioxidants, boosts collagen production, prevents premature aging, and is ideal for mature and irritated skin. So in it is red algae, which is rich in antioxidant nutrients, vitamins, Red algae has also been shown to correct and prevent wrinkles. Red algae on its own has been used for oh, like thousands of years actually as, as wound healing. So they used to make band-aids from red algae and they would uh, put it over wounds and help heal. So the nature of it has been used for millennia and um, we're just harnessing it now for helping to uh, age, um, reduce uh, redness and irritation in the skin. The retinol palmitate uh, promotes collagen synthesis. Um, it is a type of retinol that doesn't convert to retinol until after it's absorbed. So it's very comfortable retinol. It's not irritating. Ferulic acid, I think it's a very popular product right now. There's a lot of, you know, manufacturers out there that wax poetic about their ferulic acid products. Um, it really helps prevent, protect cells from UV damage. And ferulic acid is something that is really oxygen sensitive. So in products, it's very hard to get a really nice, strong, powerful ferulic that's going to do the UV protection that we want. 
but uh, in this, it's just freshly made. That's why we have ferulic acid in our actives as a solid, because uh, it's going to be full efficacy when you're it's applying to the skin. And then caffeic acid reduces inflammation and prevents premature aging. And again, we have our first five ingredients are the same: argan, jojoba, shea butter, horsetail, and vanilla. Then what our actives are in this that's unique is the Edelweiss extract. Edelweiss is a plant that is grown way up in the Alps and it's very high UV up there. It's close to the sun, very high above the water table. So it's very dry and very harsh, cold, terrible conditions. And yet it survives and thrives. So we're boring there its DNA and we're allowing, helping our skin uh, to reduce inflammation and to offset the UV damage and to keep our skin hydrated. And then we have the palmitoyl peptide complex, which boosts collagen synthesis and protects the skin fiber integrity. Now, what is really unique about that ingredient is it mimics uh, TGFB3. And you know, you just heard me go on about TGFB3 through the whole microneedling program. It's 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 helping in uh, produce collagen type one. So if I was doing a microneedling program, for instance, I probably would do this treatment if they really needed a collagen boost three weeks later, because with the microneedling, I induce collagen uh, uh, TGFE3, reduce more collagen, um, and then I have, uh, I'm going to be doing this treatment and it is going to help give that treatment a boost. So your, your microneedling creates TGFE3, then three weeks later you do your Oxy Revive and it's gonna boost your TGFE3 levels as well. So you're gonna end up with just better collagen production. It works lovely together. Plus the red algae is going to, and the ferulic acid is really gonna help with healing and strong antioxidant. It's gonna be a fabulous package for anti-aging. So I am going to go through the protocols and then I'm going to go into the, the uh, new product. So these are six sessions, a space at least two weeks apart. The treatment are divided into two steps. You, you mix the primer gel in your Oxypod. So you apply the primer gel all over the face. Then you do the exfoliation with the Oxypod and then you cleanse that off. And then you're going to add your serum and then you're going to work that in with your ultrasound for about six minutes or so. And then you can switch to the massage tip and, and just do a nice massage with that. You clean the skin thoroughly and remove jewelry. You take the sealed primer gel, you apply a thick layer on dry, clean skin. You use a brush to, I use the against spatula, apply it all over the skin. And then you put your Oxypod onto the applicator and you're gonna see how to do that with my videos. Uh, it shows you step-by-step step which button to press, et cetera, on the oxygen nail, it's very easy. And normally I just keep, I just have the machine set it as it is. It's normally uh, at a level four uh, for a vibration. And for these particular treatments, our first generation of uh, oxypo, um, capsigens, our first oxygen AO treatments, we used to do eight minutes of exfoliation. Um, with these, cause they're just higher in efficacy, I'm normally doing just five. So with this, you'd set the time for five, you hit the button, and then you just do exfoliation around the face, which you'll see in my videos. I'm not going to get into this very much because you'll see all of this in the video. And for the aftercare, we normally just suggest our Accelerus Pro, which is our microneedling aftercare, because often you find that people that are doing the microneedling protocol still has the oxygenating protocol in, uh, worked in with it. Um, so the Accelerus, uh, we have a whole line of uh, information on that. The Accelerus products are based, proven on a peptide therapy complex with copper tripeptide and Trixel 3000. It boosts natural skin healing and repair. It enriches the skin with hyaluronic acid, vitamins, and other natural therapeutic ingredients, soothes retinas and irritation. And it's safe for all types. And most of these products you can use with your home roller as well. And you can use it with a roller twice a week. And you can use it for body, for back knee and body pimples. You can have it for if someone's getting laser hair removal, you can use it around the thighs and bikini where they might have some ingrowns and post-traumatic hyperpigmentation from that. And for elbows, you can use the Revive for chapped and irritated skin. And this is how you normally do it. And lots of times they're using the old classical treatments as well, but the oxygen ale balance is really nice treatment to do for the body. So I'm going to go in before I get too carried away. 
and I want to show you the new blue spirulina facial. Uh, the new uh, spirulina facial is called the Oxyhydrate. Um, the and I'm just going to why it was uh, uh, invented. It was just basically um, to offset dry skin conditions, which in, in Canada, especially in wintertime, uh, can be quite severe. So the term dry skin can be uh, described in two distinctive conditions. One, dry skin is a skin type, which is lack, lacking surface, surface lipids, which you can know by the Oxygeneo product line. The serums have a lot of uh, replenishing oils in them to repair that lipid barrier. And skin hydration, which is lacking CO2. A dehydration. Both conditions can make the skin feel dry, sensitive, irritated, and dull. In both conditions, the skin barrier is compromised. Factors that aggravate skin dryness include low humidity environment, UV damage, harsh soaps and scrubs, aging, underlying medical conditions, and side effects to medication, genetics, and more. So there's a lot of reasons to cause that, uh, but even uh, our skin is very sensitive to cold. And a lot of times in severe cold weather, uh, to prevent the skin, to prevent itself from freezing, will extract, it will withdraw hydration from the surface of the skin um, to prevent it from freezing, basically. And so, uh, the, and that response is very, very quick. So a lot of times when you're going in and out of cold uh, environments all the time in the wintertime, our skin will eventually become very dehydrated. And it's great, uh, you know, your skin's trying to protect itself, but the reality is your skin probably wouldn't freeze anyway, because you're usually just going from heart, home to car. But in those processes, our skin can end up really chapped. And so this particular treatment, especially for people that live up north, it's very, very nice treatment to, to provide. So dry skin versus dehydrated skin. Uh, skin type, lack of sebum, um, generating factors, genetic factors dominant, skin is dry all over year round, it can easily become dehydrated, requires constant moisturizing and needs oil rich skin care and the skin feels dry, irritated, dull, itchy, tight and flaky for both actually. And that was for dry skin. For dehydrated skin, the skin is lack of water, environmental life cycles, like uh, lifestyle factors, seasonal affects all skin types. You can be dehydrated and still have oily skin. Uh, skin can be both oily and dehydrated, susceptible to breakouts, need water-based skin care. And the common denominator for both is a dysfunctional skin barrier. So the skin barrier function, and here we have the coronocytes and uh, desmosomes and, and natural moisturizing uh, factors. Uh, so we have a barrier and a lot of times as we age, it's because it's dysfunction in the stratum corneum and uh, we lose our lipid barrier and we dehydrate very, very quickly. The main function of that barrier is to repel external stressors, prevents uh, transeptural water loss and absorb moisture from the atmosphere and uh, help the skin heal. How can we break the cycle? We repair the skin barrier function with the oxygen ale. We hydrate and moisturize the skin. We maintain the skin barrier function with daily skin care and repeat. So uh, you, the whole point of the oxyhydrate was to uh, repair and balance the skin barrier. The oxygen ale three in one uh, can repair skin barrier function and keep the skin hydrated by exfoliating off the dead coronocytes that have not shed oxygenating of the skin cells by the bore effect, but normalizes keratinization, nourishing the hydrating and moisturizing effect of ingredients found in the hydrate oxypod and serum. I would also interject in that and say another thing that really helps with skin barrier protection is actually microneedling. You could actually do a soft microneedling, not so deep, over the next few weeks as well in conjunction with this and to normalize that barrier. So the active ingredients in the hydrating oxypod is blue spirulina, lactobonic acid, vitamin D3, B3, which is niacinamide, uh, swirta chirata, and tiger grass. And the hydrating serum is aqua Excel, which is uh, something fairly new and created ionic polysaccharides, vitamin B5 and E, D, ribose, hyaluronic acid, shea butter, jojoba, and argan, stale and vanilla, which you've already been familiar with. 
So the blue spirulina is a cyanobacteria, which is famous for its high nutritional value and health promoting properties. It's rich with antioxidants and high quality proteins, linoleic acid, vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and other essential nutrients. Uh, recent studies have demonstrated that the effect of spirulina in the active skincare ingredient that repairs skin function, reduces stool, improves skin hydration, balances skin oils, promotes collagen and hyaluronic acid synthesis, uh, prevents oxidative stress, reduces hyperpigmentation, and promotes wound healing, and it has anti acne property. Um, lactonic acid is less irritating form of AHA known as uh, polyhydroxy acid, and it elevates and dry and sensitive skin by gently exfoliating the stratum cordium, retaining uh, skin moisture and deactivating free radicals. Niacinamide is an active form of vitamin B3 with numerous skin benefits. Among it is many accolades. Niacinamide helps rebuild, stabilize the lipid barrier in which reduces tool uh, the transepidermal water loss and improves the uh, moisture retention. The Schwerta chirata is a native temp uh, to temperate Himalayans and has been used for millennia to cure variant ailments and diseases as a skincare ingredient. It promotes healthy keratinization, thickens the epidermis and reinforces the lipid barrier. And uh, tiger grass is yet an age old medicine uh, plant native to Asian wetlands. Um, the active ingredients extracted from the plant is known to stimulate fibroblast keratocytes and promote the synthesis of collagen, elastin, and hyaluronic acid. And they, they nicknamed it tiger grass because tigers would fight apparently. And when they wound each other after they go their separate ways, you'd see tigers rolling in this grass um, because the extracts on their skin and on them would help heal all of their wounds. So apparently the tigers really liked it uh, to help uh, repair their own skin barrier. So Aquacel third hydration, it's a potent hydrating restoring complex that optimizes the circulation and moisture throughout the skin. Uh, Aquacel is po uh, powered by 3D hydration hydro concept. It boosts the synthesis of GAGs, which is like hyaluronic acid, natural moisturizing factors, and refills dermal and epidermal water content. It increases synthesis of barrier films, lipids, and prevents uh, tool and normalizes the uh, discoamination and micro leaf. Um, analysis of gene expression on cells treated with aqua cell in 24 hours is 0.1%. Uh, so it actually helps with gene expression too, which is very, very strong anti-aging because that slows down as we age. So the water circulation and barrier function, you can see here natural, it has here the numbers of uh, natural moisturizing factors and lipid synthesis, et cetera. More in the serum. So in the serum, we have hyaluronic acid, which everybody's familiar with, it helps. And it's very important that you use your uh, ultrasound with that to break it up into smaller bits so it absorbs nicely. Uh, ionic polysaccharides is a normal uh, natural moisturizing ingredients with occlusive and uh, humanescent properties. The large molecules remain in the upper layers of the stratum corneum and they prevent a transepidural water loss and retain moisture in the coronocytes. And these you're familiar with. So jojoba and argan is non comedogenic rich oils, which are essential fatty acids, minerals, and vitamins. And these oils complex help to nourish the skin barrier and locks moisture inside. The shea butter is an acclaimed natural moisturizer with a variety of essential fatty acids that reinforce the lipid barrier and prevents tool. Also contain phenolic components that function as antioxidants. So plant extracts, it's horsetail and vanilla, which is rich with antioxidants, antibacterial, anti-acne products, and vitamin B5, which is cationic acid. Vitamin P5 binds to hold water effectively, moisturizing the skin and helping to maintain the softness and elasticity. Vitamin B5 is also added to the uh, value acting as um, both a humectant and emollients. Vitamin E is an antioxidant moisture, anti-inflammatory, strengthens skin barrier function. And D-ribose is a backbone of ATP molecules, boosting ATP production. It also boosts cellular energy and respiration, helps the skin cells to restore a healthy, normal function. And that is all of your ingredients in that particular treatment. So anybody that I've known that has tried this uh, facial 
absolutely loves it. I had some clients that they were very briefly got this because this was called Canada Proof not long ago and their clients got to try it. Most people haven't even though we had it because we've been closed, but anybody that tried it, absolutely, it's one of their favorites. So it is definitely has a lot of actives in it and very worth your while to uh, try that particular treatment out if you don't have it in your stock already. It's all self-explanatory. You're getting all the forms with, uh, will all be sent to you. I'm gonna be sending you everything. It's gonna be a big file but um, you'll be able to go through everything. Uh, so uh, with our oxygen ale, you also get the non-invasive RF. That is very different than your bipolar and monopole type of radio frequency. Like other technologies, radio frequency developed over time and um, became safer, more effective and more patient friendly. The number of radio frequency electrodes used to deliver radio frequency has changed. Their radio frequency needs to and uh, needed to in order to get the skin heated to therapeutic temperatures. We're normally the third generation, you can see, has more active poles. And that does a variety of things. Number one, it creates what's called magnetic resistance. So when you have more poles, especially negative ones close together, it repels the radio frequency. So it goes deeper into the tissue. Uh, typically in your bipolar uh, radio frequency, um, the depth of penetration is about 50% of the distance between the two poles. With monopole, you have these really high wattage radio frequency, which is crazy. And it flows from the pole to a return pad. Now, some of them are a little bit smarter and they don't burn you anymore. But if you ever arced with one of them, because they're like 350 watts, some of them are 450 watts. It's just ridiculous to think that you're using that much wattage to, you know, to, uh, to deliver energy just into the top, you know, half an inch or quarter of an inch tissue. So um, very, very high wattage and uh, just a lot of wasted energy with the monopole. Bipolar, they're kind of sparky because if you move the poles uh, at all and you don't have good connectivity, you're going to have a, what they call a spark or an arc. And that's not gonna be very comfortable for you or your client. And there's gonna be like a little welt, looks like a mosquito bite and sting. And that's not very nice. So the tripolar, because you have more negatives, it's deeper into the tissue and it's always grounded. And because um, you can go a little bit slower, there's an algorithm that changes the polarity every 15 seconds. So it sort of goes like an egg beater. And because of this, it just generates heat very deep. You're going nice and slow because you're using much lower wattage. And uh, it's penetrating deeper and you can be more, stay over the surface longer so it can sort of build up heat deep into the tissue. Uh, sometimes with bipolar, it's very high water. So you have to, you're there and it's uncomfortable. You have to go and it cools and it's sort of like putting your hands through a candle. It's really hot, but you can't really stay there to build up heat, right? Ours is actually just smarter because it's actually lower wattage, substantially lower wattage. And it's a wattage in a way that feels very comfortable. So you can sort of build up heat in the tissue. And this is an example. We do not, because the poles are closer together and they're sort of pushing on each other, uh, you don't have the diffusion of heat you would with bipolars that are further apart. And the advantages uh, is you're using lower power to get the same endpoint. Uh, it's actually going deeper in the tissue because you can be re very repetitive in the area. Uh, better for you because there's no ambient radio frequency in the air with these high wattage machines. And uh, there's no sparking. So it feels really great. And it's particularly effective around the eyes where it's very curvaceous and you can end up sparking a person in a very sensitive area. So when we set the tripolar parameters, if we have it on low, the max temperature is set at 39. If you have it on medium, it's set at 40. If you have it on high, it sets at 41. And I'm normally on high when I'm doing those treatments. Uh, I suggest if you are training on it, you start it at lower medium low just until you get your um, groove with it because it's, you know, it's a little bit harder than it looks, you know, just have really nice smooth movement and I always suggest just standing in a mirror and doing yourself because you'll get the eye to hand coordination really really quickly if you do that. Uh, the light indicators if it's green it means it's connected but there's no it's not on the RF machine isn't the RF isn't on if it's flickering green it means it's ready for treatment if it's blue it means the RF is being emitted if it's blue orange the skin is at 
either 39, 40 or 41, depending on your setting. And if it's green and orange, you're overheating and the RF stops after the beat alert. If you, if you go over your therapeutic endpoint, it'll actually shut off because it doesn't want you to devolumize. Radio frequency, if you get too hot, it can break down fat and you don't necessarily want to do that in the face. So the tripolar uh, treat, treatment protocol is four to six consecutive treatments. Um, maintenance are done every one, three to six months. You can do it as soon as every two weeks, but even at, even if they were coming in once a month, if you did it once a month, that would be fine. Um, consecutive uh, treatment gel, you just put the, the glycerin on the face and you do that. You always have to make sure you're taking before and afters. And again, here is roughly the time. If I'm doing a full face, I'm normally doing it 40 minutes. I'm doing 10 minutes per quarter. So I break the face down into quarters. I do sort of the top cheek and I, I'll show you that in the video. Uh, so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. I do it on high, I charge, uh, I do uh, 10 minutes. So it ends up 40 minutes of treatment. Uh, it takes me about an hour of booking time for that. And I'm charging probably 200, $250 of treatment for it. Uh, all of this you could probably get from my video online, uh, which I'm gonna be sending you. Aftercare, there's zero downtime, doesn't have any real aftercare. Uh, after the treatment, I always just wash it away with lukewarm water. Make sure you clean the electrodes with dry cloths and disinfects with 70% alcohol. And you can use the ready medical with growth factors or anything else after. Uh, the cell tent serum is something you can add to your treatment if you want. It, you absorb it, you rub it into the skin beforehand and then put your glycerin on. And it uh, sort of help, helps your skin to absorb radio frequency better. So a lot of times if people are having issues, lots of times people are dehydrated. They don't heat up very well. Um, so if you're doing the hydrate, for instance, it, uh, is very good for normalizing skin barrier, but the cell tan serum is really great for that as well. It uh, helps the skin to retain the RF heating. Um, so it's gonna have a better contraction with collagen fibers. Uh, how it works, it absorbs into the epidermis and dermal uh, area. So it's going to give a, a better transmission of the radio frequency into the tissue. So you apply uh, the cell tents on clean and dry skin. It's usually enough for the entire face. So one vial is good for about six or seven treatments. Uh, so there would be about a vial per person. You wait a couple minutes to complete absorption. Then you apply your tripolar gel and you perform the treatment as a standard protocol and your RF is gonna go deeper and just a better overall contraction of the tissue. We also have the ultrasound, which is an enhanced infusion on that particular device. The benefits of ultrasound increases infusion of ingredients, increases blood circulation and improves cellular oxygenation and metabolism, improves moisture retention by, uh, by skin cells, shrinks dilated pores, re relieves puffiness around the eyes, and this is just an example how product uh, is absorbed, uh, transdermal product or trans, uh, transstratum corneum absorption, because if you have a real strong layer of stratum corneum, it's hard for the product to penetrate. This is not only uh, breaking down the pro water-based product into smaller molecular bits, but it's also increasing the uh, uh, permeability of the epidermis and uh, significantly increasing the nutrient infusion. Uh, ultrasound indicators, if it's green, it's uh, connected, but it's not on. If it's flickering green, it's ready for treatment. If it's blue, the treatment is on and the energy is being admitted, uh, transmitted. It's very important. You don't turn it on until it's on contact with product on the skin. Uh, if you just had an ultrasound on and it was just lying there and not connected to anything, that crystal will, crystal will, will crack inside it because it needs to flow somewhere. So it needs a conductor and it needs a place to flow that energy or else it'll break. Um, the orange is meaning that there's poor, poor contact or there's not enough gel. So please make sure that uh, if it turns orange, you turn off the handpiece right away or else you'll damage your handpiece. Uh, if it's uh, green and orangey red, if there's no contact, no ultrasound energy emission. Uh, performing the ultrasound treatment is very easy. After you apply your gels, you just turn the machine on and you hit you, know, you hit the power button. We uh, suggest the high setting and you just sort of go around in small circles and break down the product and uh, you go over the whole face and it takes 
about probably six to eight minutes. Very easy to do, and you'll see me doing it on the on the video. So this is your menu for the oxygen ale. You have cleansing, you have the skin tightening, then you do the exfoliation and infusion and oxygenation, then you do the ultrasound. Then if you have time, you can click, put the massage tip on the uh, facial handpiece and use that as a uh, sort of vibration uh, type of massage. And then you can add your personal skincare afterwards, a mask or a ready medical or whatever. And we finish usually off with the Accelera CC cream because it's 30 SPF. And it's also fortifying with all of your antioxidants and your collagen boosters, the copper tripeptide and the Trixel 3000. So I normally boost it at the end with, uh, and it also evens out the skin color, it sort of balances the skin. So after this, I'm usually using the Accelera CC cream. Uh, changing applicators, if you have three applicators, uh, you will need to know that changing applicators during the treatment only has two applicator sockets. Disconnect the applicator, gently pull back the gray uh, plastic connector that connects the applicator to the port. Never twist it because you'll break it. And I always make sure that it is off uh, when I'm changing. Um, the applicator's LED should turn green a few seconds after connecting. A lot of people don't. Uh, I'm just particular because to me it's just another computer device so in any case of applicator malfunction disconnect the applicator turn the machine off and reconnect the applicator and turn the machine back on but I always turn it off usually anyway uh, normally in between treatments <clears throat> when we're like after the exfoliation is the only time you have to change the hand peas, I'll put a nice steam towel on their face and I will turn it off, change the hand piece and turn it back off. And as it's rebooting, I'm still cleaning off the skin and really uh, catering to the client because then I have to put the other uh, product on. So I just do it really quickly right then. And uh, it's sort of doing its thing and rebooting while I'm applying the next uh, level of product. Massage, machine maintenance, it doesn't require any maintenance. And uh, to, you just, I always clean it with cavi wipes and that's fine. Uh, contraindications, under 18 of age, pregnant or nursing, pacemaker, internal, internal defibrillator, or any other internal electrical device, metal implants in the treatment area, do not treat over lifting threads, uh, which are actually becoming much more popular these days. So you might find, I never for many years, never even heard of anybody having threading and now it's quite commonplace. Uh, don't treat over thyroid, armpits, breasts, or eyelids. Uh, any kind of cancer, immune system, anybody that has impaired immune system, uh, severe concurrent conditions, uh, clients, history of diseases, any active condition in the area, such as sores, active acne, psoriasis, eczema, and rash, uh, history of skin disorders, such as keloiding, any surgical invasive ablative procedures in the treatment area <clears throat> before complete healing, known allergic response to any ingredients in the treatment gels and as per practitioner's discretion. So if anybody's too complicated of a, of a health, I just say no, because um, you just don't know. Lots of times people are on so many medications, none of them in, are, are really um, that involved with skin, but just, just due to the many treatments that they're on, I have a tendency to say no to people um, if they're too complicated like that because anything can uh, irritate their skin. Uh, precautions, any surgical invasive ablative procedures, injections. If they were having Botox or filler or anything like that, you'd have to wait for a couple of weeks. Bot uh, Acutane, retin a six months beforehand. Um, if they have a tendency for transient breakouts, they may with this because that's usually sensitive skin. Mind you, our second portions on those treatments are really calming. So I don't have that kickback that I would with typical treatments that I have to be worried about. But once in a blue moon, you might have that. Uh, side effects. I really never have side effects, but anybody can be allergic to anything. If there was scratches, you, you did too much pressure. Uh, visible capillaries. I've never had that happen, but I suppose if someone was really sensitive, they could, it could because it is drawing oxygenated blood up to the surface. Sensitive to touch, um, pigmentation, allergic reaction. Uh, any of those would be normally associated with aller allergies as far as I'm concerned, because I haven't really had any other kind of effect with that. Um, it's always good for them if they have a tendency to have allergies because there are a lot of botanicals and ingredients, as you saw, um, that they should maybe bring uh, um, some kind of uh, antihistamine with them. And thank you. <laughs>
Thank you very much. Um, does anybody have any questions? How much is the this machine for? Um, it's nineteen thousand nine hundred with all hand pieces. Does it come with any product? Yeah, absolutely. It does come with normally it comes with thirty treatments, and oh. it usually comes with a uh, like some of each and every treatment. Awesome. And we do have a two year payment structure on that. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Any other questions? It's a, it, you know what? I can't say enough. Their newer treatments are just so amazing. Um, I think it really just sets themselves apart. And I think the more you understand all of the um, uh, ingredients and what everything each and everyone does, it's, it's a really phenomenal facial. Really, really is. I mean, I always like the old traditional facials, but the new ones are really something else. And I haven't tried the new hydrate yet, but everybody's raving about it. But, you know, it's like the shoemaker. <laughs> with the yeah. you know, I'm doing the trainings all the time. I never get one myself. I do every once in a while. I love them, but it's just I don't have time and I'm not at the office anymore because of COVID. So. Yeah, I know. Everything is shut down. I know. Yes. Yeah. So does, uh, if we have no more questions, I think I'll let you ladies go. I, um, I'm going to send you the, <clears throat> I have YouTube, sorry, my voice is going, <clears throat> I have YouTubes for all of the uh, treatments, so you can, and as soon as you see the, it's so simple to do, uh, as soon as you see the treatments done, you'll be on your own, you'll be fine, but call me if you need absolutely anything, or if you want to do a treatment in front of me, you can, you're more than welcome to do that as well. Uh, cause I want everybody confident, but I, the, the treatments themselves are really easy. It's just to have the understanding of what products to use and what not to use is oh, more and which one to recommend, you know? So with the oxygen ale, so the, at the end, so there's no limitation on what type of, um, first products that you put on after. Right no, not really. Treatment. I wouldn't, you know, because the stream, treatment is straight strong, so I wouldn't put anything too aggressive on their face unless you really know them. Because yeah. mostly, like what we're doing is just like soothing and boosting treatments. I put on the CC cream because they do need some kind of barrier and they need UV protection, right? Because I just got rid of their all their dead cells. But um, yes, there's nothing. If you have something else. We're, we always have recommendations because that's our product and that's what we work with. But if you have something else in clinic that you can add, go for it. Can we follow it up with an LED treatment? The light absolutely, therapy? absolutely. There's all kinds of things like that. Some people put like, I've had, I went to one place one time and they gave me a oxygen ale and they had a nice circadia mask on, one of those jelly masks. Oh my gosh, my face felt like a million bucks after. So you, there's a lot you can do with the treatments. It's wonderful. Awesome. Thank you so much, Thank Katie. You. All okay. right. You take, take care, care, ladies. Have a take great care. day. Bye. Bye.